Good morning, everyone. It's Eric with His and Hers HHQ. Um, well, real quick, we're going to go over to the bench here, which is <laughs> quite the fuster cluck. I've got a whole lot going on. But uh, I'm going to introduce you to the Christmas build and explain the whole thing or theme behind the Christmas build. So here in just a moment, we'll be swapping over. We'll do a quick unboxing and you'll understand where I'm going with the theme or I'll try to lay out where I'm going to try to go with the theme. Um, otherwise, we have a, a lot going on. We've got a lot in, in the works. I'm working with my business partners. That would be my two youngest. We're coming up with some new and exciting things, and we uh, will be uh, putting those out hopefully soon. We'll see. All right, just real quick, and we will swap over. See you in a second. And we're back. Um, so, as you can see here, and as you can tell by the thumbnail, I'm going to be using the Revell 124 scale 80 Jeep Honcho um, ice patrol. Uh, what we're going for here is, and this here is something that my daughter has been pushing for, um, for the last couple of years, especially the more I got into the customizations as it were. Um, what we're planning on doing is, well, as a matter of fact, that really brief TikTok was a hint, a teaser as it was. What we're going for is the Heat Miser Snow Miser, since they're brothers. And the way this is going to work out, both in um, color and a little bit of the extra detail, the um, uh, customization as it were, is the um the honcho itself will be heat miser and of course the snowmobile will be snow miser and um i'm going to try a new or a few new techniques and see if i can't pull off the look i'm picturing so um let's real quick take a look at what's inside the box. Now, some of this I've already opened. I haven't opened the body yet, but I, I mean, I'm sitting here looking at this going, this here is actually pretty exceptional. I like the design of the body. The interior of the engine compartment leaves a little bit... Um, to be desired on detail but that's okay because what we're going for is more of the exterior look and that's what I'm looking at through the bag this here is actually a pretty exceptional um, truck body I like this and um, I'm gonna say this uh, I've read the uh, instruction booklet a uh, couple times and um, this here uh, of course I do recall seeing uh, the honcho or the J10 series Jeeps in military form so if I can get another one of these I may do it up as a military that would be really fun to do um, but that being said, the uh, I did notice one discrepancy in the instructions. It says, um, or no, not instructions. On the box, it says highly detailed V8 engine. Well, the Honcho did come with a V8, but the model kit comes with a V6. So there's a little discrepancy there. But that's, you know, neither here nor there. It's not something I'm concerned about because that's not what I'm going after. It's all going to be exterior. 
The clear bits are just that, actually nice and clear and look really good. Uh, this here is for the truck and I do believe those would be headlights. This here is the clear bits for the snowmobile. You'll have to paint the tail light uh, clear red, but that all looks really, uh, really sharp actually. I like these tires. Um, of course, that seam line, the mold line there in the middle, that is a bear, but that's okay. We all know how to take care of that and get rid of that. So that's going to be um, uh, pretty fun. I wouldn't mind having a separate, a uh, couple of separate sets of those for other builds. But as you can see here, I've already opened it up. I do like these bucket seats. They've got a lot of rich detail in them. However, you've got just that quite, I mean, it's there, but it's like faint detail on the inside. There's the um, uh, window crank and the door handle there, but you can barely see them. Again, it's one of those, I don't know if I'm going to try to bring those out a little bit more or go for, um, again, it's more of the exterior look for the theme. This here is almost all your bits for the snowmobile. There is a little screen in the front here that, for the radiator. But uh, otherwise, I do like the way this looks. The decals have um, the... Uh, dude, dude, dude. I'm, ha uh, I'm having a case of the dumbs again. Has the dials, the decals ha have the dials uh, for the snowmobile. And of course we get all the really fun 4x4 stuff, I think. As a matter of fact, I'm almost positive I'm going to save both gas cans and the toolbox for a separate build because that's what you can do when you have these kits and you build them the way you want to. But of course, I am going to be using the roll bar and the brush guard and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using the uh, uh, lights on top, but I'm not positive. Of course, everything here is actually pretty quickly assembled. Uh, you notice the drive shaft, uh, rear axle, uh, front axle are all one bit here. You don't even have to fight with the tie rod, which is actually pretty, you know, simple for this kit, what I'm looking to do. Um, of course, let me see here. The radiator looks good. Of course, I think, where was it? Um, it may have actually been on the frame. There's this whole bunch of writing that if you're going to go and get this kit and assemble it, there's a, a bit of stuff you'll have to get rid of uh, if you want to go for that realism and that detail. I did notice, though, there's no back window. It's just these louvers. So I'm, you know, a little confused by that, but, you know, um, it's okay. You know, it, it works out. The uh, tailgate does open as long as you're doing all your hinging right, because there's the little hinge points. And of course, your uh, mag wheels. And yes, here it is. Right there. I don't know if you can see that or how well you can see that. Let's see if, if it'll focus. It says Ravel Inc. 1981 China. If you're going for detail, you've really got to get rid of that. Um, you know, it, it it's a bit of sanding, but you know, it's it, it's not a problem. There is a little bit of flash. This here is an older mold, but you know, that's okay. It's you know, it's an easy, you know, easy fix. The spare tires molded in, 
which um, is one of those things that for me, I don't think I really need a spare tire, at least for the look I'm going for. So I may cut that off because otherwise it's a gaudy looking thing sitting there. And of course, your directions are your usual, before, we, let me try to sort some of this mess. The directions are your usual uh, Ravel directions. You got a little bit of history here uh, about the J10. And of course, what I do like about uh, Ravel, you have this great big... Uh, color call outs uh, on the front page here dealing with if you want to use or want to make the model look exactly like the box art so it's got these uh, color call outs here and then it's got a page and a half with all the uh, parts call outs the uh, part names so yeah it's I mean, as you can see right there, you know, just a couple of quick things. If you notice here, you have the chassis sitting right and you can uh, feed the uh, exhaust through there and then turn the whole thing over and then add everything else. Well, if you're like me and you want to get, get that uh, aluminum look on the exhaust, you can set the exhaust aside and actually put all of your um, chassis together, including the um, uh, differential here. I th think that's a differential. What is it? See, even I'm having a case of the dumbs. Serious. Transfer case. That's what I was thinking about. The transfer case. Um, you can get the transfer case in place and your um, uh, uh, sway bar and your axles in place and then paint it all at once and, you know, creating sub-assemblies. Don't forget to do your shocks it also. But by then, uh, by that point, you've already got your, uh, got your chassis done and and ready to go you're ready to move on to your tires then you get into the engine assembly and and whatnot and as you can see it is a v6 so it's definitely not a highly detailed v8 engine but that's okay i'm i'm not being a stickler here and of course the uh, interior is a real quick interior and it all slaps together pretty quickly as I said, the toolbox and the gas cans, I'm pretty positive I'm using for another build. Quite possibly my post-apocalyptic build. I like the idea of using the extra gas cans and whatnot. But, anyway, uh, the snowmobile goes together real quick. And then, of course, all your decal placement and whatnot. And um, shading here on the back. And... Yeah, this here is just one of those really fun kits uh, that you can do a lot with. Let's take a look at the decals. There we go. That's a pretty good shot. You can probably freeze it right there and get all the information off of the these right here. So since we're going with the Honcho as heat miser, we're going to be using the yellow, red, orange stripes here. But if you look here, those are for the uh, snowmobile. And since snowmobile is going to be snow miser, we're going to be using the bluer or blueish colors, blue and white and whatnot. And of course, yes, here's all the extra little dials and whatnot for the... Uh, for the snowmobile so yeah it's everything is here it's it's looking good this here's going to be a pretty fun build it's Christmas 2023 and we know those holiday builds for me are not your 
standard holiday builds, we have to just absolutely go all out with them. And in this case, it's going to be Snow Miser and Heat Miser. You know, I just looked at the time and this was not a quick video. For that, I apologize. But I hope you stuck around here until the end. <coughs> Let's put everything back. Or try to, anyway. Move that off the bench. So, yeah, I've got the uh, Christmas build I'm working on. I am working on the Old Tom Rambler 69 appreciation build. Uh, that's going to be almost a completely scratch-built vehicle. As you can see, I have a lot of the chrome de-chroming. I just put these in a little bit ago. Um, and of course, I'm still slowly working on that uh, retro-futuristic diorama. But yeah, I've got a lot going on, and uh, I appreciate everybody sticking around at least to this point. 15 minutes. Good lord. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm Eric with His and Hers HHQ. If you haven't yet, head on over to Facebook and follow us at His and Hers Hobby Headquarters. Take a moment, like, subscribe, share the content, share the love of scale model building. It truly is a medium limited only by your imagination. You build for you. And as always, take a moment, comment below. I really do appreciate all the support. This here is a phenomenal community, and I really do appreciate it. You all are a fantastic bunch, and I thank you all. All my old subscribers and new subscribers, you all are fantastic. Thank you. I'm Eric. Have a good day.